To breed improved trees, researchers begin with healthy, well-formed parents like these. They're called plus trees. Cuttings from these plus trees are collected by marksmen on the ground or by a helicopter team from above. At a Forest Service research station, these cuttings are grafted onto the rootstock of seedlings. From the graft upward, the plant is genetically identical to the plus tree. The grafts are then planted in a clone bank where breeding work is done. This is an example of a tree which we might be selecting to use in the, for future breeding work amongst our progeny test plantations. The objective of the plantations are to test the trees, test the parents, and to find the superior progenies, the superior families, and the superior trees which we're going to use in place of the plus trees. We look at its form, its form is adequate. It isn't very fancy form, but it's very vigorous. And this is the sort of tree we'll be selecting possibly for use in the future breeding programs and for future seed orchards. At the seed orchard, everything is geared for maximum seed production. Regular cultivation contributes to the well-being of the young trees. This machine is being used for root pruning, a practice which reduces the growth of branches and needles and stimulates the growth of flower buds and cones. Windblown pollen from surrounding trees is not wanted in the seed orchard, so the trees are cooled by water to hold back flower development and screen out the local pollen. After the surrounding trees have shed their pollen, the flowers in the seed orchard are allowed to mature. In this way, only the seed orchard trees will pollinate each other. The pollen buds are then picked by hand, dried by warm air, and the pollen collected. The pollen is then available for application to other trees. When the cones form, they are hand-picked, dried, and tumbled in drums to separate the seed. From this seed will spring a new generation of trees. British Columbia's tree improvement program is already producing enough seeds to grow 5 million improved seedlings a year. The goal is 120 million improved seedlings on the coast and in the interior by the year 1995. The payoff will be forests or tree plantations that grow faster and can be harvested in 10 to 15 percent less time.